Sanders. I'm the executive chef of Motor Supply Company Bistro in Columbia, South Carolina. And today we're about to announce strawberries. Every year, sometime mid-April, strawberries come out in full force and last very little, maybe four to five weeks at the most. So you really want to take advantage of it as, as much as you can. They're not coming across the country, they're just coming across town and they are awesome. The flavors are sweet succulent. You'll notice that there's no little white line around the top like you'll find on a whole bunch of California strawberries. They get shipped across the country because they're picked so green. Uh, they're just absolutely beautiful. We have two fantastic strawberry farmers in, in, right in Lexington County and in Richland County. Uh, you'll see their stands all over the roads. But as far as that goes, let's figure out how to use them once we got them. The biggest mistake people make with strawberries is they submerge them in water and let them sit there. The only thing you really want to do if you have a gritty strawberry, put it in water and just gently scoop it off the top and dry it off. If you don't do that, you're going to have a mealy, wet, soggy strawberry. That is not really what you want. It's not up to par. So here we go. First thing is you just want to slightly nip the top and take the green out. Like I said, sweet, sucking it red. Wait, that's all you want. Continue to do that until we have just enough for a nice little salad, which is what we're going to do today. Simple, anybody can do this at home. I'll be using uh, some nice olive oil, white balsamic, but you can sub in dark balsamic if that's all you can find in your grocery store. Salt, pepper, uh, some great local lettuce from Fresh and Going Farms. Uh, and uh, goat cheese, South Carolina also makes awesome goat cheese right at Split Creek Farm. Down around Anderson, I believe. So, as we go with the strawberry cleaning, it goes pretty quick. Sit there, throw a nice quarter in on them. And just toss them into a bowl and kind of forget about them for a quick minute. A lot of people might look at balsamic and wonder how it's going to go with strawberries, but balsamic by its nature is sweet. And it just, that sweet and the acid from it pairs beautiful with strawberry. It's just nice just to put balsamic on top of some raw strawberries, a little bit of sugar, and it's an awesome dessert. Strawberries in the bowl. I'm going to add a little bit of mint to that. Uh, old wives tale about mint is it should be ripped keeps it from bruising. Unless you have a really sharp knife, I'd rip it too. But we're going to do what's called a chiffonade. Do a nice little, not so thin, but not thick slice. And we have just a little confetti that'll go right through the salad beautifully. Um, I like to do toss salads. So we're just going to add the goat cheese in and that will kind of work itself around and incorporate itself on everything. The great thing about hydroponic lo and local lettuce is it's still alive when you get it. Nice crunch, just beautiful texture, silky, and goodness. Everybody forgets salt. Salt is the most important thing in food. It makes good food great, not so good food okay. And uh, just a little drizzle of balsamic. A little bit of olive oil, you can season it however you like. Some pistachios for a little bit of crunch. And we have one beautiful little salad ready to go. The next next great thing about strawberries is they preserve wonderfully. You can preserve them in alcohol, you can preserve them in oil, you can preserve them uh, through pressure canning, just like your grandma used to do, which I happen to do a good bit thanks to my wife now. We, uh, we will can for the full four weeks of the season as much as we can. Uh, you can go to the Ball Blue Book website, uh, which is fantastic instructions on canning. Uh, teach you all about botulism too, which you don't want. Uh, from that point on, uh, the sky's the limit. You can add balsamic into it. I personally switch the recipes up a little bit. I like using pectin in mine, just so I don't have to reduce the sugar quite as much, and I can keep the freshness of the strawberry without cooking it. 
cooking off most of the flavors into a syrup. And that's uh, that's the strawberries. Thank you very much. And go to go to the State Farmers Market website for updates and anything else you want. They'll also be sending out text messages once a week, uh, letting you know of the great new produce coming into Farmers Market. But thank you.